Hey, it's Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York, <clears throat> speaking truth to pseudo power. <laughs> Is it really power we're speaking to? I don't think so. All right, so yesterday I did a uh, piece on um, <clears throat> on uh, SEA Hazel and uh, the threat of termination for uh, failing to write 10 tickets. Now, in that also you heard this, this business of foot patrol, uh, that he was he was targeted and placed on foot. Now, I want to I want to I want to flush this out because I have a recording I'm going to I'm going to disclose right now of my um, I, I feel like I have to do it justice because I sit here on the other side of the camera and I bang my chest and say you yeah, should tell him go fuck himself blah, 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 right and, and the truth is that's really not. That's not how I was, and uh, you know, because you these write-ups that um, that these you know these these uh, supervisors do, they come from out of nowhere. They almost you're almost always ambushed. And in this recording, um, you're going to hear you're going to hear the supervisors. Uh, what I, the day before this all happened? What happened was. Uh, a a Sergeant Fleetwood, right? I'll talk. I'm going to talk more about her because she was she was this um, sergeant that was kind of placed in Manhattan to you know do the dirty work of Amosquita and Pepe, and she's she was high high on something most of the time. She claimed a back injury, and I've been around enough you know junkies and opiate addicts to, to you know her eyes were almost always closed and. She had this slurred speech, and she would sometimes, she would sometimes be walking this way, and then she would turn around and walk the other way. But anyway, this this woman, the day before, puts me on foot. Right? She says, "Oh, Conti, you're on foot patrol." Right? I was like, "For what? I I didn't what? I wrote ten. I write ten tickets every day. Why do I get foot patrol?" And she she claimed that there was no cars, but th again, this is this is a form of punishment, right? Even even in the in the absence of not performing the 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 you know the the ballet dance of of ten tickets a day, even there because Amosquita and 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 you can hear another voice, Concepcion. These people were trying to they were trying to pound me out the door, trying to get me to resign, trying to get me to quit. So. Their, their their solution was to stick me on foot patrol. I found out later. That's what they were doing. I found out that the, the order came directly from Amosquita. And then you're going to hear him, you know, deny it. They're going to ask me for, for um, you know, for documentation. But most most importantly, I want you to hear, I want you to hear their tone. You heard yesterday, uh, Hazel, this kind of like this kind of militant, you know, lady pounding him about the 10 tickets but with mine it was more of it was more of a finesse because if they if they took on that loud tone I would just walk out of the room but but here you hear me you actually hear my voice shake it's actually kind of I think it's important to hear it because uh although um again I claim to have you know all this uh I, I claim to be telling you this is how you should have acted and this is but this is really what happened so let's listen so I'm walking into the office. I have uh, I'll take a little more of these because I kind of use them. Okay, um, you have documentation? So, so right away, I just want you to say, like, I didn't walk in there looking to be written up or have any discussions whatsoever about this stuff, right? I walked in there for for stickers, some kind of some kind of literature that I needed to do my job. So I walk in there. And the, that's the voice of Concepcion, right? She's one below Amosquita. I'll, I'll say it. I think they were they were in a in a romantic relationship as well. That's what it seemed like, right? Her and Amosquita, right? For, for so she asks me she asks me for documentation, right? For let's find out. The stick that you left went home. Yep. Um, Lieutenant, he has no documentation for when he went home. Today. So, so what happened was when she said, Conti, you're on foot, Fleetwood, the junkie the day before, when she said, you're on Fleetwood, uh, you're on Fleetwood, 
<laughs> when you're on foot, right? I said, I can't do that. Look, I was in a motorcycle accident years ago. I do, I do have legitimate, I broke every bone on my, in my leg on my right side and ribs and shoulder and all the stuff. I crashed on a motorcycle, right? And I, I do have legitimate, I do have legitimate injuries, right? Right. The legitimate documented injuries. If you take an, in, if you take an x-ray of my leg, it looks something like, <laughs> like something like this, right? So, but that's the, that's what I gave her. When she said foot patrol, I packed up my bags and I walked the fuck out because I'm not going to, I'm not going to tolerate being abused like that, right? It's just not going to happen. We'll talk about, I'm not going to walk out the door and, and walk down the streets of Harlem so, so you could drive by in your car and fucking laugh at me. <laughs> so that's, that's what's going on here, right? So, so he's asking me now because I left I'm supposed to medically document that's not that's not true first of all first of all the rules are that if you have sick days in your pocket right I I, I never look I never exceeded my sick days or my 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 holidays or any of that stuff right I had I had days in the bank right I don't have to medically document bull anything really right because because I have sick days right it's when you don't have sick days. That's when you got to medically document it. So, again, the whole thing about what he's going to try to do is going to try to push me. Now that I, I took his, I took his foot patrol. Say, here, stick it up your ass. He, he's trying to, he's trying to get me to, to, to. Um, he's trying to get me. He's trying to coerce me to get a, 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 a doctor's note. Go to the doctor. Waste the whole day. Go to the doctor. Here. What's the uh, what's the documentation for? I was sent home. I was sent home because I couldn't do the assignment uh, offered. So why do I need documentation? That's not what I was told. I was told that you well, sent then, it to go home. Okay, so you could you could do what you have to do, and I've already provided the documentation on my 144A. Okay. I don't know. What to tell you. I was not told that I need to document, and I documented that I every in front of everyone in the roll call room that I had an injury that would prevent me from being on my feet for six hours. That's my document. What more do you want? Okay. Uh, the Department of Sanitation know that. The DS clinic know about your injury. It's new, no. But what the the, the 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 point was that I was put on foot not because I had an injury or there was some nonsense about no cause. All right. So before we go into that, right, you you can hear that I'm 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 taken back by the whole thing, right? Like because I'm I know I'm going to get ambushed, but I don't know what I don't know to what degree they're going to try to stick it in my back, right? So. So I'm playing this, you know, this is Pin the Tail and Conti, right? And, you know, again, it, it, you could hear, you could hear the, because this is your job, you know, you, you go out all day long and you, you work and you do the job and then, and then this is the, the 4.30 p.m. hour, the last moments of the day. This is what they do to you. They take you in a room and they badger you and try to, try to get some kind of bullshit write up. This, uh, this ultimately became a write up, not for refusing foot patrol, but, or it, maybe it was I don't know, but it, but but the point is that we now know you you've you've we've how many videos in have uh, are we with with this foot patrol being punishment right? So anyway, now now I, I you hear me pivot that see he's saying oh it was just an assignment, but no it was it was walk out the door like an idiot and, and we taking away your car, Conti. Fuck you. Okay, so there's no call. You're not guaranteed. No, the most okay, you're not guaranteed a call when you come to work. Let me let me back that up a little bit. Let me back that up just a little bit. On my feet for six hours. That's my document. What more do you want? So I told him I can't be on my feet for more than six hours walking around. Okay, that's my medical excuse, right? I I have again I have sick days. I can leave if I want. So I left. Does the Department of Sanitation know that? Does they know what? The DS clinic know about your injury? It's new. No. But what the 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 point was that. I was put on foot, not because I had an injury or there was some nonsense about no cause. Okay, so there's no cause. You're not guaranteed. No, there was cause. Okay, you're not guaranteed a call when you come to work. 
I have been on foot plenty of times. That's your job. Maybe you have a car. Then why you say it's because there's no foot patrol? Why, why, why say it's because there's no cars? So what See, see again, uh, two things happen. Cat Concepcion, right, the lieutenant or whatever the fuck she is, sergeant, she says, I've been on foot many times. I've been on foot many times. All right, yeah, well, okay, let's so prove it. Where's your, where's your 144s where you were out on foot walking around the streets all day long? Let, let's see it. Let's see it. Give it to me. All right? It's a fucking lie, right? You're lying. All right? The other, the other thing is that you're not guaranteed a car, right? Now, I have a video. I, that day, I walked out the door. And you've seen it in Conti Gate, those stupid videos that I put up, the little ones. You see the cars in the in the parking lot. Those are from the days that you know that I would walk. All right, so there were plenty of cars. The notion that somehow now we're a third world country and and you you know New York City is now you know fucking Bangladesh and there's no cars, right? That's what you, well Cuba. <laughs> now we're a third world country. There's no cars, right? It's not true. It's a lie. They're lying. Some of those cars were down and they were still up here because of the mechanic who needs to come and move them. So the what about doubling down, up with people? When the vehicle dropped down by the mechanic, they could not be used. What about doubling up with people? I wasn't here. I can't. So, so right there, I say, what about doubling up with people? It means like if there's if if the if there. If we're to believe that there's no cars, then two agents can go. I usually had my own car because that's just the way I went. Right? I was. I would go out. I would get the work done quicker by myself. So they always gave me my own car. All right. So, so I could have. They could have easily doubled me with somebody else. No problem. There was like seven or eight people. Some of them were flying alone. You can even put three people in a car. It doesn't matter. Just everybody get out. As long as you can get the car into a position where everybody can write their stupid tickets, right? But you're requiring me to. So again, just I just want to reiterate that the, the excuse they're using is that there were were no cars. That's what, that's what. And when I pushed him on, he was like, "Well, I wasn't here." He's lying. He was. I found out that he's the one who who initiated the whole thing in the first place. Go to the doctor and get some sort of fake okay, leg. Majority of the people uh -huh. here have already gone on foot. I don't understand what we should I told him. Okay, so he's saying that this, the majority of people went on foot. Show me the fucking documentation. Show me the documentation. Show me the 144. Put it on the table. I told him. Yeah. I told him. Did you read my 144? I read your 144. So then you know my reason. Deem, Why are you asking me? It does not that? deem us necessary to not put you on foot. There's nothing on record from the health facility saying that you cannot be on foot. Okay. So, okay. Now, unless you so have I'm not going to listen to you. Now, unless you have a doctor's mm -hmm. note, you took to the health facility, and the health facility tells us this individual cannot go on foot at any time because of his injury, then we say, okay, no problem. But we don't have that on record. I checked your file. Okay. But, but again, that's the that's the secondary part of it. The first part of it is that is that uh, only foot patrol has been used for punishing people. Correct? No, it's not. No, it it's is. In true. my observation, and everybody well, your that is... Your observation is wrong, sir. Well, it, it is my observation. And well, it's your used to... Is wrong. You're it's not used to... It's used to... Answer. It's used to... To embarrass. No, it's not. It's it's used to humiliate, and no, it's, it's used not. to break someone down. No, it's not. If that's, that is my view, and that's that's how it's been used in my view. So, so there I go. I spell it out from... Right? And he's just gonna keep he's just gonna keep lying to my face. He's gonna keep saying, Oh no, no, it's not it, that's not what it's used for. But it, it, it clearly is, right? And uh, but you can you could hear you could hear the you know, I'm 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 afraid of these guys, right? At this point I'm still afraid of these guys. It's September two thousand fifteen. I, I don't look, I I don't know. You know, they all have handcuffs and they all have they all seem to be, you know, they they're all banging their chests at the same time. So there's this level of fear when you're when you're in this in this situation, you don't know if you're going to end up in the back of a garbage truck. You don't know if it's all bullshit or if it is, or if it's real. And it turns out that it's just all bullshit. It's all, it's all muscle flex. It's all fake fucking crap, right? But when you're in the situation, you don't realize it. You're scared. And what you're doing, what you're doing is you're trying, you're trying to, you're trying to humiliate me. I'm not trying to humiliate you. Because, because... I protested and filed a case. Ding, ding, That's ding. That's why you're doing it. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is good. Okay, I was not privy to that situation. I was not there, and I really don't really care. There to what? Excuse me. 
He's talking, okay, now this is where it gets really funny and, and interesting, too. He's referring to the couple of days before. The, the reason why they're sticking me on foot and they're trying to punish me any way they can is because of the Pepe incident, right? Pepe, this, this fat fuck jerk-off <laughs> supervisor who who attacks me in a in a in a he attacked me in the roll call room right i asked him a simple question about the the handheld device and he he he, he threatened me he wanted he wanted to beat me up after work right so in front of six people that's documented read the read the appeal it's the peppy file is the, the first reason i went down when i finally said enough is enough right and he's he's saying i wasn't privy to it i i don't know what happened between you and that lieutenant He's totally fucking lying. He's totally lying. I have that recording. I haven't released it because there's no reason to release it. Pepe never, he didn't deny that that's what happened. And he did it in front of six people. So that's not really, that's not really an issue. But, but listen to, listen to the way he, I got attacked in the roll call room and he's, he's defending fat fucking Pepe the liar. I'm talking. Okay. I don't really care. And I'm going to say this once to you, sir. Okay, what happened between you and that lieutenant, that was between you and that lieutenant. And me and you had a conversation in the role program, okay, actually in the notice room, okay? Mm -hmm. And I was sympathetic to you. But if you continue giving out and telling me this, then I'm going to do what I have to do. All right, you, okay? you know, I, I feel like you're already right? doing I am not going I to feel like So right there, that was a direct threat. All I said was, you know, that you're going to, you know, that you're going to... Wait a second. Keep going. I'm sorry. You're already doing that. All these I, I'm not. I'm not threatened by you constantly telling us I am not, that you could have filed a complaint. I am not. All right. So there you go. So he's he's that's the the the, the essence of the of the whole thing, right? Is that I filed a complaint with the EEO. When, when Fat Peppy attacked me, Pe that guy, by the way, a week later was pushed into retirement, so he's gone. But but the fact that I, I complained is now this is the retaliation. This is the retaliation. We're taking away your car, Conti. Fuck you. Everybody does. I, some woman in the, in the, in the, in the, in the some you know, uh, someone on their side said, oh, I, I've done foot patrol hundreds of times. I have that recorded. She said, "Oh, I've done foot patrol hundreds of times, hundreds of times, really. Hundred. You went out the door. You walked around the neighborhood a hundred times. You fucking liars, bullshit, right?" So anyway, now he's, you know, so that that's what's going on here. You, you see the background. I'm, again, I'm going to put the the clip at the end. You can he make up your own mind, but you have to have a, you have to have context to what's going on. Okay, well, but that's I am telling you. He's saying that I'm threatening him. I'm not threatening him. I'm I'm bringing up the point that the reason why you're doing this is 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 that is is you're lying. There is cars. There's I do ten tickets. There's no reason for it other than to humiliate, punish. Look, Conti spoke up. Now we're gonna punish him. I am telling what you okay. what I'm gonna do. Okay. I right, thank you for your time. So you hear, I, that's the end of it. I walked out on him. <laughs> He's still talking while I'm walking out. So anyway, but that, that's, that's the gist of it. I wanted to give, I wanted to do that because I don't want it to seem like, like uh, I was so brazen and such, you know, like I am on this because I, I don't give a shit about these people, you know, at this point. They're, they're, they're not, look, they're not worthy of respect. That's the point, you know, like. I get a lot of emails, people criticize me about, you know, you curse at them, you call them stupid and fat and dumb. Well, the fact is they don't, they're not worthy of respect because, because they're, they're lying and they continue to lie. It's one thing if you lie, it's one thing if you, you're, you're caught in a bad situation, you come forward and say, look, I was in a bad situation, I'm sorry. And then it's forgiven, but this is not forgiven. This is a continuation of, of, of slander and libel to you know common citizens i was not you know i was just a regular guy who took a civil service test and this is what i experienced these types of these types of attacks were daily you know if it wasn't for it wasn't trying to stick me on foot or it was you know you know the, the list goes on and on it was just it was just every day so i hope that's clarification again 
I the, the the forum is yours. You if you ha if you think that I'm 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 misrepresenting you, or if you think that that um, I'm not giving you your fair shake in this, well, you, you please come forward. F come forward. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. We'll sit there with the with the handheld, and we'll we'll have a talk. Right? I'm not gonna let. You, it's not gonna be easy for you if you're gonna come in and bullshit me. It's not gonna be easy. All right? So we'll have a good debate. All right. Thank you for your time. Peace. He has no documentation for when he went home sick. Well, he has five days. Okay. You. You too. What's the uh, what's the documentation for? September first. You went home sick. I was sent home. I was sent home because I couldn't do the assignment uh, offer. So that's, why do I need documentation? That's not what I was told. I was told that you well, decided then. to go home. Okay, so you could you could do what you have to do, and I've already provided the documentation on my 144A. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What to tell you. I wasn't here for that. I was told that you wanted to go home because you didn't want to do the assignment, and you were told that you needed to document. Was to I was not told that I need to document, and I documented that I every in front of everyone in the roll call room that I had an injury that would prevent me from being on my feet for six hours. That's my document. What more do you want? Okay, the, the Department of Sanitation know that? The Does they know what? The DS clinic know about your injury? It's new, no. But, but the, 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 the point was that I was put on foot not because I had an injury or it, there was some nonsense about no cause. Okay, so there's no call. You're not guaranteed. No, there was call. Okay, you're not guaranteed a call when you come to work. I have been on foot plenty of times. That's your job. Maybe you have a call. Then why maybe say you don't. it's because there's no foot patrol? Why, why, why say it's because there's no cars? The what cars? The tank cars. Some of those cars were down and they were still up here because the mechanic needs to come and use them. The what about doubling down, up with people? When the vehicle got down by the mechanic, they could not be used. What about doubling up with people? I wasn't here. I can't tell you what's going on. But you're requiring okay. me to Everybody go to a doctor so and get some far, sort of fake okay, letter. The majority of the people uh -huh. here have already gone on foot. Mm -hmm. so I don't understand what was your problem going on foot. I told you. I, I told the problem. I told you. Did you read my 144? I read your 144. So then you know my deem, reason. Why are you it asking me? It does not me deem that? us necessary to not put you on foot because there's nothing on record from the health facility saying that you cannot be on foot. Okay. So, okay. now unless you so have I'm a not going to listen to unless you have a doctor's mm -hmm. note that you took to the health facility and the health facility tells us this individual cannot go on foot at any time because of his injury, then we say, okay, no problem. But we don't have that on record. I checked your file. Okay. But but again, that's the that's the secondary part of it. The first part of it is that is that uh, only foot patrol has been used for punishing people. Correct? No, it's not. No, it it's is. Not in true. my observation, and everybody well, that is. observation is wrong, sir. Well, it, it is my observation. And well, it's well, used to. It's used to. It's used to. It's used to to embarrass. No, it's not. It's it's used to humiliate, and no, it's, it's used not. to break someone down. No, it's not. That's that is my view, and that's that's how it's been used in my view. And, and Conte, what you're doing, Conte, what you're doing is you're trying. Is, might be your view. You're trying to. Your you're trying to humiliate me. No, I'm not trying to humiliate you. Because because I protested and filed a case. That's why you're doing it. Okay, now I'm going to tell you this right now, sir. Okay, I was not privy to that situation. I was not there, and I really don't really there care. There what? Excuse me. I'm talking. Okay. I don't really care, and I'm going to say this once to you, sir. Okay, what happened between you and that lieutenant, that was between you and that lieutenant. And me and you had a conversation in the roll call room. Okay, actually in the notice room. Okay, mm -hmm. and I was sympathetic to you. But if you continue coming out and telling me this, then I'm going to do what I have to do. All right, you, okay. you know, I, 
I feel like you're already I, doing. I'm not going I feel to be like you're already doing that. These I, I'm not. I'm not threatened by you constantly telling us. I am not. That you could have filed a complaint. I am not threatening. Okay. You. Well, but that's I the way it sounds. I am telling you. I am telling you. Okay. What I'm, I'm going to do. Okay. Anymore. All right. Thank you for your time. You have five days to provide that.